Hello all of you amazing YouTube viewers and welcome back to the Matt Vid Pro channel. Now personally for me, today's video is going to be extra exciting. This is a topic that I have wanted to talk about for a long time. And I haven't really been able to discuss it with anyone, so I would love to hear your feedback as well in the comments below. Because I think it is extremely important, not just to machine learning, but to the media industry as a whole. Anyways, as any of you subscribers already know, I like to open up my videos with an interesting AI generation. Today I'm actually going to be hinting at an upcoming video with my generations. Now while this boring image of a brick might not seem enticing at first, if you look at this prompt, this is a character carefully crafted prompt specifically made to produce exactly the image that I wanted to make, and I used a very helpful resource to get a prompt that accurate. A guide, so to speak. Now this guide is very popular in the Dolly 2 community, but I'm going to be bringing it into my audience's light at least. But of course, most of you who are already in my Discord channel, which can be found with the link in the description, probably already know about this. By the way, the Discord channel has really been popping lately. We have almost a thousand members. You can submit prompts to get generated by Dolly2 or other AIs. Just chat with other viewers. So check that out and become a part of the Matt Vid Pro community. I've got one last little thing to talk about before today's main course. Now this might be a shock to some of you, but I actually have a girlfriend. And anyways folks on the side, she makes soy candles and sells them on her Etsy. And I am vouching that these candles do smell very good and they burn perfectly. I don't even want to tell you guys how many hours she spent into making sure that they they burn properly, but if you need to get a gift for anyone, maybe a birthday, maybe you just want to do something nice. Either way, these candles are healthy for you and the environment, and I can attest to their quality. She's also going to be releasing wax melts soon, so I thought I would let you guys know if any of you are interested in possibly purchasing some of these because they are selling out, so I will link this down in the description below. Moving into the main content of today, artificial intelligence or machine learning and its relation to video games. So I am 22 years old and pretty much my entire life I've been playing video games. I actually specifically remember when it was a big deal that you could have a touchscreen on a device such as this. So now we're entering this new phase with technology where basically we're living in the future and AI and machine learning is enhancing almost every form of media, or at least it's going to in the near future. I'm going to talk about a ton of different really cool AI projects that have strong relation to video games in specific, because that is the focus of today's video, and I figured I would start out with DLSS, which is already in function, already improving video games today, and then we're going to move on to stuff that's going to be applied in the future of video games. If you guys don't know what DLSS is, basically it's AI upscaling, for video games in real time, which means you can run video games at a higher resolution and actually gain FPS from it because the video game's actually being rendered at a lower resolution and then being AI upscaled in real time. I'm sure a ton of you have already heard about DLSS, but for example, Red Dead Redemption goes from 74 FPS to 106 FPS, 73 to 120 in Rainbow Six Siege, Warzone goes from 73 to 117, and when DLSS first arrived a few years ago, it was the biggest thing to happen for video game technology in terms of a performance booster in forever. Normally you had to rely on raw horsepower, but now with the power of machine learning we can upgrade our video games. So DLSS is just upscaling the whole game output as a whole, but what about when it comes to actually making the video game itself? And that's really what we're discussing today. Now the first AI video game application we will be discussing is the enhancement of conversations with characters using AI. So I've discussed this in previous videos, but OpenAI who have made Dolly 2 have a text AI that can be used for a variety of things, but it can do chat. So what this guy named Lee has done is he's creating this video game with Modbox and he's using this AI to script his characters and he's actually able to talk with his voice to the characters and have them respond back in a completely realistic manner. So we can actually see behind the scenes here with the integration with GPT-3, here's the prompt and then it sort of responds. And one thing is this is also a VR game, which makes it extra immersive. Hello, Bobby. What do you want? Uh, where are you going? I have to go to work. I'm already late and my boss will punish me if I show up even later. Please leave. I can't help you right now. Uh, where do you work? I work at City Hall. It's a government building in the center of town. It's a huge and beautiful building. You can't miss it. <laughs> uh, what street is it on? You're smart. I like that about you. City Hall is located on City Hall Street location. <laughs> uh, alright, goodbye. 
So, as you guys can see, the developer here is able to ask deeper and deeper questions and the AI is able to give him the responses that he's looking for as an NPC in real time with the game. I think this could be really useful in the future of maybe an RPG style game. And of course, you will need an internet connection at all times for a game such as this, but yeah, I think it could be really cool. You could ask and have interesting dialogues with hundreds of different characters in a video game. So this one with some fine tuning really is not so far off. By the way, the links to everything you're seeing in this video will be in the description below. I'd also like to point out that there already are some video games out there that use GPT-3. Here's a list of those video games, some of them are free, some of them are paid. The most notable one is probably AI Dungeon, which sort of plays out as kind of like an AI Dungeons & Dragons-esque text experience. And then there's all these others which I haven't tried out yet, but yeah, there are GPT-3 based games already available. And let me know if you guys have tried any of these out, I would love to hear your feedback back in the comments. So next up in the future of video games with AI, we have animations being created with AI. Essentially, you would train a neural network on real motion capture footage, and the AI will learn to blend these into a video game to allow for realistic animation use. We can actually see a few examples right here in front of us from this video. I especially like this one where the guy ducks right under there in a realistic motion. Now this video is really technical and sort of gets into exactly how they go about everything, so I really suggest you guys check the videos themselves out and not just take the word from me. I don't really have time to go into everything in extreme detail, but essentially we are able to get really complex and really fine-tuned realistic animations out of these neural networks. And as you can see, it's really perfected in a boxing game demo here, where these close, uh, complex interactions get formed really smoothly in the actual video game itself. And otherwise, this would be something that's almost impossible to just code raw into the video game. So you need a neural network that can learn how to create it. But in general, it comes out pretty good. But yeah, this is some pretty cool stuff. Now, this video is a little bit more outdated, but this is some more example of this animation style stuff where we get these extremely smooth animations produced on the fly in the video game and interact in a realistic, you know, way that you would expect. I would most definitely 100% expect to see technology such as this in upcoming 3D open world video games, such as a new Grand Theft Auto, Assassin's Creed, those types of video games. And you could also expect this type of stuff to appear in sports video games as well. I mean, this basically the example he's using here in his video. So we've talked about upscaling the actual graphics of your final video game with DLSS. We've talked about including NPCs with GPT-3 and making new character animations with neural networks. But what about using AI to produce the actual graphics of the video game? Now this paper that I'm discussing here doesn't actually apply to video games specific. I think this is more for 3D rendering. Two Minute Papers already talked about this, so I'll be pretty brief. Essentially, this AI uh, takes this volumetric rendered image and denoises it, or speeds up the process of rendering it by a large amount. And noise is actually very common sometimes when rendering certain 3D things in video games, so a process similar to this could be used to render out and clean up those different graphics that can be seen in video games on the fly. Now I know Two Minute Papers already talked about this, but you can see how noisy the image is and then how it gets cleaned up with denoising. And again with this you can see all the noise that's being generated and then you can see that it gets denoised with their new method. And like I said, this stuff really mostly applies to 3D renders but it most definitely could be applied to video games. They definitely use some similar technology. So we can actually reduce noise when rendering graphics and smoke animations. That one in specific was smoke animations, but what about actually creating the sprites or you know, the visual images that you see when you're playing the video game in real time, only using AI. This one was also featured on Two Minute Papers, I'd like to say, but I want to bring this one up again because this one is just absolutely mind-blowing. Again, this is linked down below if you really want to look in detail on this. But the basic gist of this is essentially they trained an AI on a bunch of video footage of tennis matches and then used that footage to create realistic sprites in real time that behave realistically and you can actually play this as a video game and it looks this good and it runs probably phenomenally because it's all created with a neural network. 
And the crazy part about this is it behaves exactly like a real tennis player would, a professional tennis player, and probably even picks up the little nuances that these tennis players have. We could definitely see this enhancement in maybe some sports video games where you pick up those little nuances of certain players, maybe for, you know, the extreme fans, right? You know, this is no joke, it's a real video game. And this is sort of where they get into the flow diagram of how it all works, where it actually watches the videos, then it actually does the sprite post-processing itself, cutting out what it's seen, and then it takes the behavior of actually playing the video game, searches the clips, and then renders it as a novel point on an actual tennis course to what you would actually be doing, you know, at whatever point you are in the video game. I'm not really great at explaining it, but yeah, if you want an in-depth explanation, definitely watch this video. It's definitely some pretty incredible stuff, and, you know, at first glance, you think you're just watching a tennis match, but in reality, this is a fully playable video game of just a tennis one that it just, it just looks real, because they've trained an AI on basically, this is what we want as our video game. And, you know, obviously, this background is a static point, it's just the characters and the ball and everything that are moved and rendered. So, what if we take this to the the next level. Let's just have an AI do the entire video game for us. So I'm sure some of you have already seen this video, but essentially this neural network was trained on actual video footage from this specific bridge in Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm not going to go into extreme detail here, so check out this video if you want all of that, but that's the basic gist of it. It was trained on this specific bridge, and using a few different methods and such, you can actually render out this portion of the video game as a playable, drivable video game. And you can sort of see the car actually driving around. The car is pretty detailed. The surrounding landscapes are a little blurry though, but this is fully AI generated. All it did was check the movements and the inputs of the controller and actually watch the gameplay itself and train on it. And you can see you can steer the vehicle around. There's sun reflections, which is really cool to see. So, you know, this is very, very far. This is a very far glimpse into the future of video games with AI and machine learning. But if this technology were to become advanced enough, we one day could have full portions of video games that are just use entire AI rendering to, to get what you want. And the implications of this are very large because you could have video games that basically look like real life. Flawless graphics that run on almost any device because it's all just done through a neural network. This footage definitely doesn't look very amazing to anyone, right? It doesn't really look that great, but when you think about it, it is very incredible how the AI has learned the different positions on the bridge just by watching lots of footage. It knows about the reflections that hit the car when it turns and what it looks like when the vehicle turns. So yeah, it's it's really cool. It's very dreamlike too and surreal. I, I kind of like the way it looks in a weird way. Everyone moving into our final result here. This is another GTA 5 one. I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. It is absolutely incredible technology. Again, this one's been around for a little bit now. Basically, this takes the base GTA 5 game and plasters over it with photorealism essentially it's like a photorealism paintbrush right over the video game they trained an ai in a bunch of german street view footage and then they were able to actually train it to overlook the gta graphics and give it photo touches it's really crazy how it learns what photorealism really is or what photorealism consists of because it's like yeah this looks like a video game it doesn't look bad it definitely looks realistic but this that looks like a photo so it's just the the ai has learned these little nuances that trick your brain into thinking that it's a photo you can watch all of this video footage uh if you want and i'm sure a lot of you have seen it before but it is super cool they also go through the process of exactly how it works and how it picks up and knows what different parts of the image are. But the crazy part also is that this runs in real time. So if you could have a photorealism model like this that is actually good enough, you wouldn't have to make super detailed graphics for an entire GTA video game. You could just make some baseline textures and then just train an AI to know what each various piece is and then basically just photorealism it from there. Which means that you could have a photorealistic video game with every little detail that you want, and it would run very well on almost any device. Usually these hardware limitations are a big problem for developers, so being able to just have photorealistic graphics that run really well on any device is a serious thing that is going to happen in the future using machine learning and AI. And there are just so many possibilities with different looks. You can get different types of photorealistic looks. You can achieve just overlaying it on a, you know, video game base layer, essentially. So I think this is the, probably the most real, like, that we're going to see very soon with all of this that's going to really 
change up the uh, market of video games. The first video games to feature a technology like this are really going to be quite game changing. You know, they're going to have the quote unquote best graphics and they're also going to probably run super well because you don't have to, you know, create all this extra detail at the bottom layer, you can just have the AI layer its detail on top. And you can really see how much heavy lifting the AI does here and how much it changes to actually get a photorealistic output. Just absolutely incredible technology at play here. One day we could even see all the technologies that we've discussed today combined into one singular amazing video game. Uh, we can only hope though, right? I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. I'm at View Productions. If this video was helpful and interesting to you guys, uh, please let me know in my Discord channel and in the comments below. I would love to uh, get in some discussions with you guys as well. So feel free to leave any comments below on your opinions and I'll probably get back to you. So yeah, what do you guys think about the future of video games with AI and machine learning? It is looking pretty bright, honestly, in my opinion, at least. So yeah, all the links will be in the description. Check this stuff out. I'm at Video Productions. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.